So you went to the station and got the Genshin shader, but you don't understand how to use it. Not a problem. Once you've downloaded the shader, it'll look like this. To bring it into your project, just append it the same way you would anything else. Now the shader is actually pretty straightforward. Base color is the main color. Shadow color is exactly what it sounds like. But shadow position is actually shadow area. The larger this number, the more area will be covered in shadow. Alpha is transparency, the more see-through your object becomes. If you have a normal map, you can drag it in here. It will be applied to the diffuse, metallic reflection, and specular shading areas. Subsurface controls the transition between the light and the shadows. And just so you can see what we're talking about, let's change the outer color to blue and the inner color to red. Okay, now, if we turn soft size up, you will see it create an extra layer of shading from the shadows towards the light. Normally that color would be something slightly darker than the base, but for demonstration purposes, you get the idea. Now, if we turn the hard size up, you will see it's almost the same thing, but instead of a fade and gradient, it's a sharp flat layer of extra shadow, and it covers a wider area. And the strength of that shadow is controlled by this. You can also have both of them active at the same time if you want. Inner size is the complete opposite. If we turn it down, you'll see it creates an extra layer of shading from the light to the shadows. And the threshold is just the darkest value required before the shading appears. So the higher the value, the less likely it'll trigger. Rim light is just light that shines from the opposite direction of the main light. You can decide how visible it is with intensity and how much area it covers with size. If you want something to look more metal, kick that metallic up. If you want it to be shiny, keep roughness at zero. Otherwise, you can bump it up to make it less sharp. You can stretch metallic reflection sideways with X, or you can stretch the reflection vertically with why. Normally the reflection tint will be black, but if you want it to be a different color you can pick it here, and decide how strong that reflected color will be. Specularity adds a small highlight in the areas closest to the light. It's usually for things like hair or anything that's supposed to be reflective. You can change its color with this, and if you want the specular to be sharp, keep the roughness at zero, otherwise if you want it to smoothly transition, move it closer to one. You can control the size of the specular with this, and if you have a shadow mask you can drag it in here. You're done. If you're curious about how to use the different settings, there is an awesome example file included in the download that you can use to see what settings should look like when trying to achieve a specific look. There's also an example character included demonstrating what the settings should look like if you want things to look exactly the way they do in the original game. Anyways, hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next.